Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Slickmoth, back again with another video, and in today's video I'd like to talk about a DLC story pack that I would like to see in Batman Arkham Knight in the coming months. As you can tell from the title of this video, what I would really like to see is actually some GCPD DLC, where we play as a GCPD police officer. In this instance, it could very well be Officer Owens, and Officer Owens, for those of you who don't know, is the character we play as first in Batman Arkham Knight. We play him from a first person's perspective in Polly's Diner, where the game starts out, and uh, it goes pretty poorly for him as the game progresses, so actually just at the beginning there. But one of my biggest strifes with the Arkham series in a whole is the fact that there's not very many civilians in the game. Either one of them. It's not just night, it's also city. There's very few civilians in the game. With a GCPD hey, sorry, DLC that takes place before the events of Arkham Knight and before the initial cutscene where maybe we're doing a, we're stopping a bank robbery or something typical like that. And then we follow through as that GCPD officer after the events in Polly's Diner where Scarecrow uses five ounces of his latest toxin, blah, 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 everyone gets scared. And you're actually within the 24 hours because, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is 24 hours between the events in Polly's Diner and everyone being evacuated from the city. All six, 68, uh, excuse me, 6.8 million people in Gotham City were evacuated in less than 24 hours. So you're playing as a police officer before the events of Arkham Knight take place. So you're pulling people over for speeding and you're doing that kind of stuff, maybe at the beginning of the DLC for like two minutes, and then you get to the good stuff. You're stopping a bank robbery or something like that. And then the events of Arkham Knight happen. You're in Polly's Diner, blah, blah, blah. You guys all know what happens there. But then most interestingly, the next 24 hours is all getting people out of the city and following the chaos that ensues. Of course, from the event of Polly's Diner onward, within that 24 hour period and much past the 24 hour period, which we saw in Arkham Knight, which I don't think would be best to cover because the police was mostly hidden inside of the GCPD building after 24 hours, after Batman arrives on the scene fully costumed and ready to go to take control of the city, most of the GCPD officers are actually inside of the GCPD building headquarters or they're in their police car. But the point is you're actually putting people on the bus and you're also stopping the looters, the initial looters, before you lose control of the city. So as the police is actually trying to retain control of the city and evacuate as many civilians as possible, that's when you're actually playing because we know what happens afterwards. But I just thought that it, this idea of actually being there in that gap, because we never really see what happens. We see a few people get on a bus and a cutscene uh, at the beginning of the game, but other than that, we don't really know how that happens. How do they evacuate 6.8 million people in 24 hours? And how do... did a lot of people die? Did a lot of police officers die? Who is taking control of the city at this point? Is it Scarecrow? Is Scarecrow gassing other places of the city? Are people under Scarecrow gas besides Polly's Diner? Or are people just so scared that they're leaving before he can infect anyone with this toxin? You get what I mean though, and I think it would be an interesting idea. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, and do you think this would be interesting? Taking control of Officer Owens, or another police officer, doesn't have to be him. We could maybe uh, play as a different character and meet Officer Owens at some point. But we're playing in the time before Arkham Knight takes place, so we see uh, beforehand, we see as Arkham Knight happens or where it picks up, and we see Polly's Diner occur, maybe from a different location or standpoint, and then we're following shortly thereafter. We're following where chaos ensues, when civilians are going crazy wanting to get out of the city, when the looters are taking the streets. That is what I really want to see in the next Arkham DLC, following the Nightwing DLC. The issue thereby stands that most of the DLC for the game is probably already made. Now, we are only three months into the DLC, and, you know, Sefton Hills never reached out to me personally or anything like that. You know, I don't I don't know if he really cares about what I want to say, about what the DLC should be. It's just something I thought was interesting, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on it in the comment section below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and comment your thoughts on a police officer DLC or any other DLC thoughts that you have. This is just one I was thinking about and I thought would be intriguing. Like I said, guys, feel free to the like button if you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well. Some of you don't know I actually have a Twitter account. You can follow it's just my YouTube name, SLCMOF, Slickmoth, on Twitter. Be sure to put that in the search bar and find me up. It's also be in the description below if you'd like to follow that link. Once again, my name is Slickmoth, guys, and we'll see you later.